Let's imagine you are working in a complex project with multiple pre-comps, placeholders, and a render comp. In these kinds of projects, you often do not realize how much time you waste jumping through pre-comps or reselecting the same sets of layers again and again. Sometimes, you spend more time selecting layers than actually animating them. The Control Group's plugin for After Effects solves this. It lets you instantly jump through your pre-comps and reselect layers using shortcuts. This video is sponsored by Scott Black, the creator of the Control Group's plugin. You can also save any set of layers and reselect them with a key press, which is a lifesaver if you work with a lot of scenes and need to quickly select all the layers for one scene. Control Groups puts your layers, locations, and previous selections on the keyboard, so you jump where you need to go in one tap. So let's see how to use this plugin. First, let's see how to create control groups for layers, and we will later see how we can do the same to navigate through comps. In this project, I have multiple scenes, and I need to keep selecting the same layers again and again while animating. Instead of manually shift selecting them every time, I can save them as a control group. I select the layers once, go to the control groups panel, right-click and choose Create Control Group. That saves this selection into a slot. I can also do this with a shortcut. In my case, I'm using Control plus one. If there is no group in that slot, it creates a new group. If there is already a group, it overrides it with the new selection. You can repeat this to create multiple groups using Control plus different numbers. To access these control groups, you can simply select them in the plugin panel, or you can use keyboard shortcuts. For example, I want to access the first group, so I will simply hit 1 on the keyboard, and it will automatically select that group which we have created earlier. If you double-click on the control group, then it will take you to the center of those layers. An optional setting even allows you to repeatedly click on a group to individually select its layers from top to bottom. Now let's say I want to instantly jump at this location and the exact time frame. So what I will do is change the context to location, and now when I create a control group, it will save this location by which we can quickly jump at that particular spot. Deleting these control groups is really easy. You just have to hold Alt key and double click on the group which you want to delete. Advanced ways to use this plugin. In the settings, you can see the modifier shortcuts. Modifiers are simple keys that change how groups are selected, so you can manage multiple groups quickly. The combine modifier lets you combine multiple group selections. By default, its shortcut is shift. If I have two separate groups and I want to select both, I press the first group normally, then hold shift and press the other group. Both groups are then selected together. The subtract modifier lets you remove items inside groups. For example, in this group I have all these layers, and let's say I don't want this layer in this group. So what I will do is select this layer and just press Alt key to trigger the subtract modifier and choose the base key for that group. And this way we can remove that layer from the group. It's kind of like opposite of the add modifier. Next we have override modifier which lets you override a group with new one. Simply select the new selection and hold control and a base key. I'm pressing one here in order to replace this first control group. The add modifier lets you add layers to existing groups. Just select the layers which you want to add and press control plus shift and then the base key for the group to add items into. Next up is exclusive trim. Use this if you want to add items to a group while removing them from any groups they might already exist in. All of this works for location control groups too. If you right-click one of the plugin panel, you can see some additional options like changing context, creating the control group, exclusive trim, deselect all items, and locking the shortcuts to temporarily disable them if needed. You can even tweak the color of control groups. This number represents the number of items it holds. If you always want to see what group contains what, Click this button and a slide out will appear to show you whatever's in a group you hover your mouse over. Spaces. There's some nice features to keep things organized. The plugin offers up to 10 spaces, each with 10 slots. This should help you to organize different tasks without mixing everything together. To access different spaces, click on this button and here you can see each one. You can also switch to these spaces using keyboard shortcuts, but it might not work at your side because by default, the shortcuts aren't assigned. You've got to assign these yourself in the settings page. Floating window and customizable SFX. There are two complementary SFX packs included, Kalimba Bottle and Halus. These sounds are used to give audio feedback for various actions, like selecting a group, using modifiers, and so on. The sound effects are fully configurable inside the plugin. You can enable, disable them, or even choose custom sound effects to play for each action. By default, notifications follow your mouse to give you additional information but these are configurable too. You can enable or disable them per message type, 
or change where they appear while you're using After Effects. Conclusion This is a great plugin to manage heavy projects in After Effects, and you will be surprised how much time you can save once you build it into your workflow. There is a 7-day free trial, so you can test all the features in your own projects. Check out control groups on AE scripts from the link in the description and the pinned comment, and I will see you in the next one.